welcome back to the channel. In last week's video, I went up to my rooftop to explore the possibilities of backyard bird photography. I managed to make one appealing photograph of the common tailor bird on my very first attempt. And so I took it up as a challenge to put visuals to the other bird life here as well. The next species on my list was the coppersmith barbet. It's the official bird of Mumbai. After a total of about 8 odd hours spread across 5 different attempts, a hidden paradise slowly began to reveal itself. Stick around for the entire video and I'll show you how consecutive failures eventually resulted in the most fruitful outcome. If you saw the previous video, you'll know that my presence on the rooftop didn't go down very well with the crows. So this time, I tried to be invisible. I found a portable changing tent on Amazon that was also available in camouflage, so I picked it up right away. A little bit of modification and it seemed good to go. The forecast for the next day was clear of rain, however there was a little bit of unexpected drizzle. I decided to wait it out. In the outdoors, this tent might make for a decent photography hide, but it stuck out like a sore thumb against the white terrace flooring. The main objective for me was to be hidden from sight and the tent served that purpose just fine. I could hear a lot of birdsong from the inside, but I couldn't see any movement just yet. The tree's first visitors were honeybees and other insects, fueling up on nectar and pollen. Not the subject that I was after, but the day was just getting started. A few minutes later in the near distance, I managed to get a short glimpse of the scaly-breasted munias. They weren't close enough for a photographic opportunity, but they were still a treat to watch. And as the hours passed by, there was still no sign of the coppersmith barbet. With the lack of ventilation, it began to get extremely hot and suffocating inside the tent. I was eventually out of water and I was forced to pack up. Three attempts and almost six hours later, I had to let go of the tent completely. I was now able to move around and shoot freely. Not only was the tent stuffy, but it also hindered my angle of view and reduced my chances of sightings. Just a few moments later, a female rose ring parakeet stopped by. She was aware of my presence and the fact that she was my momentary subject of interest. The flower buds of this African tulip tree are filled with the pressurized watery nectar. And with the lack of water bodies nearby, the birds here have possibly learnt over time that this bounty they may have once mistaken to be a fruit is in fact a reliable source of hydration. As my fourth attempt was nearing the end of available daylight, a slight movement caught my attention. Only seven hours later, I finally got what I was looking for. This is the coppersmith barbet. Its size and camouflage make it incredibly difficult for the untrained eye, of which I have two. Persistence eventually paid off and I was extremely fortunate to catch a glimpse of them and even be able to document a tiny bit of their behavior. However, it was attempt number five that would turn out to be the most fruitful and give me my most intimate sighting yet.
bird photography has been a refreshing break from photographing prime wildlife like the big cats. It may be more time consuming and challenging, but if you get it right, the chase is absolutely worth it. Only when we begin to understand something are we truly able to appreciate it. For my next attempt, I'm going to try and photograph the purple rumped sunbird. It's going to be even more difficult and it's definitely going to take much, much longer. But as always, challenge accepted. For those of you who are new to photography, I've created a seven part tutorial series covering key topics that will help you take better photos. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Your support is going to help me build this channel and community and take it a long, long way. See you in the next one.